Welcome back to another episode of watching me make calls to sellers or to buyers and do real estate deals. It's pretty simple. The purpose of these videos is to make calls so you can see what it really looks like to talk to sellers, talk to buyers. Maybe we get a deal, maybe we don't. Um, it's really live off the cuff. So I'm going to go into my CRM here. There's some new leads that we haven't touched that came in. So I'm going to call some of these people and uh, I'm going to put on speaker and we're going to talk to them and we're going to see how things go. Let's get right into it. Hello, Jeffrey. Yeah. How's it going, man? My name is Raul. Um, I was reaching out about Blaine Avenue. Yeah, I'm actually tired. I'm going to give me a call back Monday. Okay. Are you still looking to sell that property, though? I don't want to bug you if you're not. Yeah. Okay. So Monday's a better time? Yep. Thanks. All right. Thanks, man. I mean, today is Thursday, so Monday's kind of late. So I'm going to put this on my system. Let's try to call him on the weekend. So I'm going to put here, said he still wants to sell and wants to be called Monday. But I'm going to put it to call him. I'm going to put it to call him Saturday. Just in case. Maybe it's a good day over the weekend. Pretty hot, motivated lead. So. I don't want it to wait too long. Then I'm going to make this Chris. All right. So I'm just, as I was doing that, I'm making changes in the CRM. Again, the CRM I use is Lofty. Although I do have an affiliate link, I'm not saying to use them or not use them. I like the CRM. It is what it is. You can use whatever you like that makes you um, organized. The main thing for CRM, customer relations management system, is to, to keep your leads organized. Somewhere where your leads go in, you call them, you follow up, you can set tasks, you can make, you can uh, send offers, you can write notes, etc. This is another lead in Orlando, Florida. Let's see. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The Let me call one more time. It's working. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. So I'm going to leave a, a text message. Okay, no problem. This was regarding your property in Fairway Cove. They text me, we'll call you back. So let's see. All right, let's keep going on to a new one. Yeah, this microphone, I got to talk real close. Hello. Hello, Linda. Yes. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Raul. I was reaching out. I know we were texting about your property on Tangerine Road. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, good. All good. Um, now, I was reaching out that uh, you had entered that property on our website a few days ago. Um, is, is this something you're still looking to sell? The one in, in uh, Lake Yes, Plaza. I would like to sell it, yes. All right, all right. How much would you like to get for that one? Uh, you, you tell me what it's worth. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the property. Uh, it was built by a builder. Okay. Um, the gentleman, uh, they went to a nursing home, but he evidently oversaw the building of it. It has the roller drawers on it, you know, all the drawers roll in, in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. And it's got solitary cabinets. He put a lot of storage space in the, you know, he, in the closets areas. Um, it is um, the refrigerator is about a year old, I okay. guess. The okay. stove and microwave, I don't know the age of them. Um, it has, um, I cleaned the carpet. That's all I did when I moved in. It was that clean. Nice. The house was that clean. So, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at some very pictures. Well maintained. Uh, look at the pictures online. I imagine it's these are pretty accurate because this is from 23. The bathroom is beautiful. The master bath is beautiful. It's got his and her closets. Wow. Um, it's um, 
it's huge. It's got heat in it and it's got uh, a heat lamp and then it's a jacuzzi and then a stand up shower. But it's like pink marble, pink and white marble. Oh, wow. It's, and uh, it's really, really, really pretty. Got so, it. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's like a nice house. And, you're and it's got Korean countertops in the kitchen. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, it's got a breakfast, you know, a little breakfast nook that's cut out there. It's got a, a little line with sliding doors on it. That's where we watch TV. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a, a huge kid, uh, living room. And then the two bedrooms are on one side and that master's on the other. And the bath is between the two bedrooms. Uh, it's got a linen closet. It's got lots and lots of storage space. It's got an outside building, and then I bought a new building that's there, and it has an extra lot too at one twenty eight Tangerine. Oh wow! Okay, so let me let me look that up on on the maps because that I didn't know. Okay, so mm -hmm. right next to it, there's so, a lot that you can build on. Oh, okay, and and you're selling that with this as well. I would like to. Yes. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, gotcha. And just curious, I mean, it seems like a really nice property, well kept. Good area. What, yes. What, what's got you even thinking about selling it? I'm 77 years old, or will be in January, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't utilize it enough, you know, because I only come down in the winter months, and I figure with me maintaining it, you know, as much as it costs, then I can rent me a place, you know, and stay, and not have to worry with the upkeep of it. Oh, I see. Got it. Yeah. So with the upkeep and everything, it might be better to just sell it, and with that money. Whenever you come down, you rant, you do whatever you, you, you got to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. And because it sounds like you don't live in Florida or? No, I live in Kentucky. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's like a nice uh, vacation home over here. You got the lake in front. Mm -hmm. All right. And There's 27 and... lakes there. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice here. And I'm not a realtor or anything. I'm more of a buyer. Um, have you thought about listing it with like a local realtor or something instead of selling it? No, to, I have yeah. not. Mm -mm. Gotcha. So no. it's not, not something you'd like to do. Um, and what about renting it? Is renting an option? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I want somebody sleeping in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I know like around here, people do like those vacation rentals and stuff. So I feel like I had to ask. It's got a big safe in the, in the master uh, bath and the master closet, one of the closets. It's a big safe. I've got the combination and everything to it. You know, like if you wanted guns and stuff like that, or oh, wow. somebody had guns or money or whatever. You know, it's a big safe. They could put it so in. So it would be staying with a home too. So. Oh shoot! Very cool. Very cool. Um, I love it. All right. So you got one twenty six and then one twenty eight Tangerine as well, which is the vacant. And a new building on sitting on one twenty eight, and uh, a, an older building sitting on. Um, 126. Okay, so, when you say newer building on 128, what exactly does that mean? Is that like a house or is that what is what? that? On 128, you said there's a building on there. It's a storage building. Oh, storage. I paid $16,000 for it, yes. Gotcha. Okay, got it. And is there electricity in that building and everything? Yes. Excellent. Uh, no, there's no electricity in the building. No. Oh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Gotcha. Fair uh -huh. enough. Cool. And from what you remember, do you remember the last age of the roof for 126 for Tangerine? I think it's about six years old. Six years old. Okay. It's been replaced, and so is uh, the the furnace. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. And yeah, as you're talking, I'm kind of looking around here. Did you have a timeline in mind of when you wanted to sell this place and close and no. everything? No. no. It can be tomorrow. It can be in a year. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair enough. Um, anyone else that's involved, like uh, family, friends, attorneys? Or, no, just uh, me. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't have anything on it. I paid cash for it. So. Oh, lazy. The American dream. The American dream. Let me. I don't care about my life. Me. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's incredible. Um, all right. Let me. I'm we had 17 down there. What? And we sold. Yes. We've worked hard on our lives. Oh, my ex husband and I. Damn, that's a. Uh... We've got about 60 here in Kentucky. Damn. That's a huge I accomplishment. <laughs> I got to learn I was from a you. Banker, and he was a heavy equipment operator, and then he started his own business, heavy equipment. And then uh, uh, 
we started buying everything that came up close to us and managed it. That's the best thing to do if you're doing anything is to buy it close to you. And uh, that's what we did. And uh, that's what uh, we've been doing. So oh, nice. I've done it and his one of his sons is doing that as well. So Wow. Okay. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so that leads me to believe that you know what you want for this place <laughs> and you know, and you know that I'm an investor and so I'm not going to pay market value. That's why I know. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. So I know that. that's why I, I always ask. That. Yeah. That's why I always why I ask that question up front so that I don't want to waste your time or anything like that. You know, uh, yeah. I, there's so many deals right now in Florida, as you can see, and I'm looking for a deal. Um, well, I'm not a deal. <laughs> Gotcha. So, so give me ballpark. Like, where where are you at for a cash deal with no fees, no commissions? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, as far as cash, I, I know that we probably would not even be close. I paid two seventy five for it. You can see that on the yeah. thing where I paid for it. And uh, as I said, it doesn't didn't need anything. It still doesn't need anything. I cleaned the carpet, and uh, if it was me, I'd replace it with a tile, probably the carpet. Yeah, but. I'm too old to even attempt that, so I'm not going to do that. So whoever buys it can do that. So yeah, so a young couple with some kids or something. There's a young couple across the street. He he watches it for me and makes sure my grass. You know, the man mows my grass and the mass grass is mowed. He texts me the grass is mowed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so like I've got good neighbors, and uh, you know, I uh, I just. Uh, you know, don't know what you would give for it. Yeah. You tell me. I would tell you for like a cash deal without fees, probably in the low twos, to be honest. Nah. Okay. Except that there's 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 so many for sale. There's one for sale right now at three hundred at two ninety nine, and it's like fully decked out um, on Washington Boulevard. Um, yeah, I saw I saw that coming up. Yeah. Yeah, there's one there's one for three thirty three in Glen. It's twenty three hundred mm -hmm. square feet. There's, I mean, look if you list it with an agent and stuff, maybe you get more, maybe not. It's it's just like um, in order for it to be like a safe purchase for for an investor, you know, it's got to be in the low twos and that's, oh, I know it does. Yeah. yeah, and that's us not even making that much. For it, so, you know, I'm not gonna do that. So. Yeah, yeah, you're better off holding on to it for a while, waiting to see what happens to the market. Yeah. If you don't want to lose yeah. or just slap it on the market with somebody for a bunch of money and see what you never know, you know, but, uh, there's just so much inventory right now, which I'm sure you know. About. Um, That's what I've been hearing that there's a lot of inventory. Yeah. How is it over there in Kentucky with the real estate market and everything? Curious. Uh, it's growing in leaps and bounds, you know, we, uh, uh, things go up and they've been dividing, subdividing farms and my realtor friend here, she, uh, they buy farmland or she gets a buyer and they subdivide it and make, you know, little communities out of them. So oh, that's awesome. all farmland's going to be bought up. So <laughs> very cool. Um, and what, what, what about like the lot on its own? Like, what do you think, would you want to sell the lot by itself or you'd want to do like a package deal? I might consider it. It depends on what the price would be. Hold on. Let me see what, what lots are selling just. Uh, just with land here, one second. Um, okay, I see. Let's see, there's one. Uh, yeah, how big is this? Do you know how big it would be? Because I can't find it here. It's, it's as big as my house lot, so whatever that is. So. Okay, I'll tell you right now then. It should be 10, a point. Oh, wow, it's big. So 0.48 acres. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, you have a big land there. Mm -hmm. Seems like it'll probably be in the. There's one at 0.70 acres for 55k. So somewhere around 30 to 40, I'm guessing, around there. Uh -huh. I don't know if something like that would make sense for you. I probably sell that for the land. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I could do is, do you know if there's any like water hookups to the land or, or things like that? Like, is it, was it vacant when you guys bought it like that? Or how was like, it, basically what I'm asking it is. Vacant. Yeah, it was vacant. Okay. When I bought it. Gotcha. Okay. So it might need to be, have some water hookups there. Uh -huh. Okay. So 
I mean, it's right there at my house, the water is, so I wouldn't think, I've got sprinkler system right in my yard, so I wouldn't think it'd be very hard to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, but just, it uh, helps to know. Okay, what I can do is, let me dive deep before I give you like a firm number. I want to make sure I give you something I can like, you know, commit to and go through with. Um, and then I can email you over my information and something in writing, and then you can check it out and, and see if it's something that might work for you. All right. That sounds good. That sounds good. Let me get a good, I have your number here, but what's a good email for you? Fight at gmail.com. Okay, I'm just running now. Linda Grizzle 40 at gmail.com. Perfect. And again, my name is Raul Balufe from Cell House uh -huh. Now. Um, so let me, yeah, let me run the math on the lot and I'll shoot you over my, you know, my highest and best on that. And um, this is my cell phone number. You can call, text me anytime. We can go from there. Okay. All right. So um, I'll do that. Give me until tomorrow morning and I'll get that done for you. That's fine. Have a happy holiday. All right, Landa, you as well. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. So we got something out of it. It was kind of hard because it wasn't so much land for sale there. And it was kind of like I was doing all my focus on the house. And then I'm like, let me try the land. Um, let me type some notes here. So I'm just doing some research on the land real quick. And then I'm going to tell my sister to uh, just make that offer for me. But let me just double check that it's uh, – man, that was a big – if that's a big piece of land in that area, if it's that, let me see, it's 120. Got it. Yeah, after looking here, it's not 0.30 something acres. It's 10,000 square feet and one just sold for 8,500 bucks. So 10,000 square foot lot, literally one block away. So, and I kind of told her 30, 40, which I got it wrong because I, thought that it was 0.34, but when I looked at the county records, uh, Zilla was wrong. The county records were right, obviously. So uh, that's on me. Um, I don't even know if I should send that offer to that lady for that much. <laughs> She'll probably go crazy, but I'm still going to do it. Book it. Let me, um, let me tell Christy. All right, Christy. I'm going to put here send written offer for 128 tangerine for... So what am I going to do for 5K to make, ah, let me do it for, really sold that low it's crazy yeah 11 and then another one's over 12 so we're gonna need it for I don't know five grand all right while I was doing that I did get a call from a lead uh, let's call them back find out who the heck was calling me how do I see when this calls here inbox screw it let me just call this number Texting people as I'm going. We are unable to take your call right now. Please leave. 
I had another call come through. Let's see if this is a seller. I hope. Hello. Hello. Hey, I, how you do, are you doing, sir? This is Raul. I was just returning a call I got from this number a little bit ago. Hey, how you doing, Raul? All good, man. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Um, I did leave a message, but uh, I didn't have a, a voicemail. It didn't say Raul or anything. So, uh, uh, what's your company to make sure I got the right guy here? Oh, yeah. This is uh, Cell House Now. This is uh, Johnny, right? With uh, Yeah, yeah, it's Johnny. Yeah, I texted you a little earlier about um, East Green East Street and just, just calling to see if you were still looking to sell it. Which street was it? Uh, I'm sorry, Genese. I don't know if I said it right. Genese? Oh, oh, Genesee Street. Genesee. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, no, are you okay? I, I left a message about two other properties, but... Uh, oh, okay. I think we talked about Genesee Street. Didn't you offer like 179 or um, far too low? Let me tell you. Yeah, Theo, you spoke with Theo, my partner. I'm trying to see. Yeah, him. that's yeah. what it was. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. But do you have any other properties that like need some work that maybe we could look at? Yeah, it was about a text to the address. But let me ask you this. Have you guys ever considered working with us, a fix and flip investor, to to get a, get paid out on the back end? Or do you guys have uh, connections with some finances that can finish these projects and make JP on them? Okay, so so basically, you got these projects and looking for uh, like an equity partner or a partner with money exactly. to to do it. Exactly, the finishing. Exactly. Mm, I mean, I have hard money guys that I could I could transfer you to, but you might need to put something down. I would say maybe like fifteen percent at least um, with them. Um, well, we can talk about it. I know one thing: I own the property, so they may not want to lay down. Um, I'm typically looking to just finish them up and put them on the market. Got them at really good prices, so the back nice. end, the equity partner, they'll get they'll get paid handsomely. Okay. Go over the numbers and scope of work with them to need to see where we are, including yourself, Raphael. Yeah. Just, just text me. Let's talk about it. I got three of them. You guys want to get paid? Let's just finish them and get the market. And and to be clear, you already have them closed on, or you have them under contract? Or? I, own, I own them. Oh, you own them. Yeah. Hmm. I own them. <laughs> Quickly acquisitions. Oh, hell yeah. It's Just amazing. Due to the delay of trying to get permits and things to go through, I told them too long, and the terms are coming to an end on them, and ah. don't want to lose this great opportunity. But yeah, man, you talk to you guys. I'll text you at this number, the number you're calling me from, all three properties. I own them. Just want to finish them, and we can come to an agreement on the back end. You guys will get paid in handsome. Just need to finish it. Yeah, I, I just shot you a text. Uh, with Gabriel, he's like my personal, like hard money guy. He does all my stuff. He's not like a big company or anything. He's, you know, he represents somebody that they just have a lot of money and they do hard money in Florida only. I think he'd be a great person to talk to at least to, because if you have other properties, maybe you don't have to put money down and they can use some equity or something. Um, but either way, send them to me and I'll check them out as a, as an investor and see if I'm interested yeah. in, in working as well. Yeah, I'll send them to you. Uh, maybe you and I and Gabriel and Theo can all be on the same text and brainstorm. Because I'm pitching it to other people as well. Uh, because they got a good uh, ratio on these properties. Because I've got them at short sale prices. Just need to finish them. Or even refinance them and take more time out to complete them. But I'll, I'll send you all three. You got the Genesee one. I'll send you all three again. Genesee, Hampton, and 29th Street. Got it, got it. And just be miracle for it, man. There's money in it for you. You got to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it to the right person, and uh, we'll write up something so you can pay. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah, send them my way, and I'll I'll check them out. I'll do some homework, and uh, yeah. Um, if if you want to, feel free to call Gabriel. Tell him you know me, and uh, maybe he'll help you out. I'm sure he'll he'll guide you in the right direction for sure. He's a real, real good guy. No problem. Text text me your full name so I can reference you and the name of the company. Well, I'll send them to you right now, to, to your number. You got to come to. Yeah, this is my cell phone. It. Send it to this one here that I called you. You got it, man. I get a couple of, of good leads every now and then. It's just these three have had me stuck. So yeah. I haven't been able to go out and get more like I normally do, but I do have two in the pipeline. I can send you away and maybe work out something as well. Sounds good, man. Yeah, send them my way. You got it. Where are you based at, man? Where are you, are you in Tampa? Or? I'm in uh, Miami. Oh, man, I'm not 
not driving three hours to have lunch. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm just kidding. I'll come back with let's let's make some money together, man. I'll send it I'll see you there after this. All we'll right, go from there. Sounds good. All I right. appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, man. Yeah. Uh, let's see. No, he's uh I'm gonna put um under I'm gonna put him under buyer. Um let me put some notes here. All right, let's see if we get one good call in. I mean, we've had some nice, uh, some nice luck at least. We've gotten some people on board. Let's see, we had. Uh, it's crazy that I start calling and then everybody calls me. It's wild. So one four. I got like another. 15, 20 minutes, and I got to go paddle. We're paddle training. Telephone number 4043725067. Can't take your call. All right, let's uh, keep it moving on. So obviously he didn't answer. I have a call tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Your call has been forwarded to an. Hey, my name is Ro, and I was reaching out <laughs> regarding your property on Live Oak. You submitted it on our website. Are you still looking to sell that property? What, what did you come in here saying? I want my suitcase. Oh my God. I'm, almost, I'm gonna make a few more calls and then I'll be done. I have to go to paddle. Can you bring me some water actually, please? Are you trying the chicken? It's good, right? Wow. Your call has been forwarded to an auto. I do a voice to text. Hey Betty, this is Raul. I was reaching out about your property on Hope Drive. You had submitted it on our website a few days ago. Are you still looking to sell that property? Where's Paddle? In, in uh, Ultra. In uh, the one we always go. Yeah. I'm doing a class. Like a boot camp type thing, so. So what? I don't know, you could go if you Should want. Should I go? Yeah, go pick up the dogs anyways. Yeah, that'd, that'd be perfect. I'm yeah, gonna what? leave here. It's gonna take me a while, so I'll probably leave here like uh, maybe like 20, 25 minutes. Thank you for calling. We are news in from This sounds like a Spanish speaker, so I'm going to do it in Spanish. Hola, mi nombre es Raúl. Recibí tu información de tu propiedad en Homestead. ¿Todavía le interesa venderla? All right, just leaving messages. You never know. Got a Hialeo one. I like this. Okay. Your call is 
been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hola, mi nombre es Raúl. Recibí tu información de tu propiedad en Hialeah. ¿Todavía le interesa venderla? Man, why am I getting so many calls? But it's not, it's like spam calls. It's not seller calls because it wouldn't come out of spam. Your call did not go. Please try your call again. Your call did not go. Hello? Hola. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Damn, bro. These people literally call me. Watch. Bro, they call me like 10 times in a row. It's crazy. By the way, these people that I'm calling submitted their information on our website to us. So I'm not like, I'm not doing a video spam calling a bunch of people, even though there's nothing completely wrong with that. I'd say business is business, but uh, just so you know, you know, just so you know. I ain't no spammer. I'm on top of the trending. Come for YouTube, come for trending. And I'm on top of the trending. Big Tully, but I'm trying to take a trending. Big Tully, 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 this is ringtone. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Hey, this is Raul. I was reaching out because you had submitted your property information on our website in Miami. Are you still looking to sell that property? Ah, crap, it came out in Spanish. Hey, this is Raul. I was reaching out because you submitted your property information on our website in Miami. Are you still looking to sell that property? Let me email him because obviously his things don't work, so I'm going to shoot him an email. Let's do this. All right, I just sent an email, just says looking to sell your property, question mark, on the subject line. Let's see this one here. Hey, this is Raul. I was calling because I received your property information on our website in Point Siena, Florida. Are you still looking to sell that property? So since we didn't get much action on the seller side, I'm going to call. I have a new dispositions agent I just hired. It's his first week. So when I have somebody and it's their first week of them working with me, what I do is every afternoon at like 5 to 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., I call them and see how their day was. So basically how I run my company is uh, we have a daily huddle at 10 in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. We all get on there. We talk about good news and plans and numbers and stuff for the day. Then at 3 p.m., I have a sales meeting 
with the sales team and we talk about comps, leads, objection handling, role play, we listen to calls, right? And then at night, if, if you're either off track or you're new, if either you're off track or you're new at night, I'm call, I am uh, calling you and I'm just asking, hey, how was your day? Do you need any help? Did you hit your goals? Why or why not? Like, that's basically it. So um, let's watch one of those calls live with my new acquisitions guy. Let's see if he freaking, an- he didn't answer me yesterday. I was actually a little upset about that, but <laughs> let's see. We have right now, we have seven deals for sale. Hey, Ron. What's up, Omar? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. How you feeling, man? I know you're, you weren't feeling uh, so hot. Well, I'm uh, feeling a little bit better. Um, like product, I mean, like the knowledge wise and working with the, uh, the CRM, I got some buyers on the line. I was finally able to vet some of them. Um, nice. They, they kind of give a soft offer. Um, I can kind of work on raising those. Um, probably ballparked at around 3.30 for the um, for the one in Cape Coral. Um, but that's only because this flipper is kind of listing on the MLS. So he's giving up a lot on, on fees, on commissions. Um, you know, but I think if we find the right buyer, we should be good. I should probably find them like between today and tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Awesome, bro. Yeah, well, I mean that's great too. I was just asking, like, how do you feel? Cause I know you weren't, you, you had like something with your your teeth or oh, my dentist. Teeth, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's still there. Um, I really don't like to abuse medicine like that, so I think I'll, I'll probably take a pill when I feel it's too extreme. But um, I think it's still bearable right now, so I should kind of write it off from here until Saturday. I think they're gonna like um, take off my my um, my tooth, so I'm not sure. Okay. But I'll let you know. Yeah. Got but it. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. I'll probably do it on the weekend, early weekend. And it takes like a day or two to recover. So Damn. fresh back on Monday. All right. All right. Well, yeah, health is first, bro. Whatever makes you uh, feel better. And, uh, you know, you got, you got to be healthy, number one, bro. Without that, there's nothing. So. Um, yeah. 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 But we were good. Yeah. I don't think that should be like a, like a really big impact. Cool, man. So how was your day overall, man? Like, did you, did you get, did you accomplish what you set out to do? Um, I just got one, one offer out of those two, um, which was at three 30. I I think it was too low of 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 an amount, Yeah. but, um, the, I mean, dude's a flipper. So he's also pretty well experienced, kind of knows his numbers. Um, and that's kind of what would make it work. But I think we probably went too high up on repairs, probably could have brought that down. Mm. Um, yeah, so I'll probably try and call them back and work on the repairs, see exactly how much the costs are. Um, and if I'm able to bring them down in repairs and yeah, I should still make it a pretty good deal for him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Also make sure you put notes of that. I don't know if you were going to do it at the end of the day, but just so we all know that you got that offer and everything, you know, I think you did it yeah. on, uh, my bad. Yeah. I've been doing it on, on, on Lostly, but you know what, I, what I'll do is I'll, as soon as I paste it on on lofty then i'll just paste it on the slack channel yeah yeah lofty is more for you the slack is for everybody so yeah um, for sure but no i mean you did great on the notes for church avenue your the notes was excellent um yeah i'll put my, my notes for um for this okay. one's the one on floor on yeah Cape Coral, so it's a 27th place yeah and then um oh for sarah road i uh i spoke to the lady and she put me in a three-way text with the owner of the company. So uh, I'm supposed to have a call with them tonight uh, on this. So I'm going to talk to them. Yeah, to see what the deal is. And I'll I'll report back to you tomorrow on that. Um, Cool. Yeah, and then uh, we've got Havana. We've got Wilsonville. um, And then, yeah, Sarah Road. Um, And then it looks like Naples is coming back around. Um, So I'm going to actually put this for sale again. Yeah. This, this was one of the leaders. Yeah, I'm trying ones. to get at least two um two of these locked down before tomorrow, which is at two one eight and that um twenty seventh, only because there's a lot of buyers that I saw were interested. Mm-hmm. And I'm still running down that list. So I think that before I get done with that list of buyers, I could probably go ahead and lock up two two offers. Fuck yeah. Um or get at least two offers on on the table that would make sense for us to move forward with. And um yeah, I hope to do that before tomorrow for sure. And um also, the two one eight South um, Southwest Church Ave. I think that one I can find a buyer for it tomorrow as well. Yeah, I mean, bro, that's a good deal. I think we have it at a very good price. I think at 50, yeah, I think both of these are like um, like the hottest deals. Yeah, that correct. Kind of, 
um, I think would move quicker to get a quicker close. For um, sure. So yeah, I'm kind of focusing on those, but I'm also working on the other ones as well. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd say Waldrop by tomorrow. I'd want to know at what price because I don't mind calling them and reducing, but I would need to know at what yeah, price yeah, okay. because like, let's say I reduce it 10K. Are we going to sell it or do I need to reduce it 20, 30? Like, I don't even know. So, sure. um, okay. Then I'll put in some work in tomorrow on that one for sure. Yeah. No, keep doing your thing. Yeah, Focus. You're just... carried away with these two. Cause I did see like, I kind of foresaw they were a quick close. Yeah. No, you um, did the right thing. You did. The, you, those yeah. are the hottest ones. Uh, but I just don't want to prolong. Kind of let go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I agree there. Hell yeah. And, um, cool, man. Is there anything I can help you with? Have you had any challenges, issues so far? Um, oh yeah. The, um, the form or the assignment agreement that we use yes. for buyers. Yes. Uh, I know it was on DocuSign. I don't know if there's like maybe a link you can share. Yes. I'm going to have to have, let me, yeah, I kind of like to get that done within the same call and sent over and signed. Oh, um, fuck if possible, yeah. So a hundred percent. Yeah, I kind of fill it out before I call them, like with all the info that I do have, and then just capture whatever I need and send it out, get, get it signed. Hold up. Let me find a, Let me find this uh, video of me doing it. Hold on. How to send reduction and cancellation. That's cool. So, property passes page. Fuck. Creating sending property templates, PPC, marketing, school, school, how to send reduction cancellation. I think we're going to have to do is you're going to have to do a, let, let me give you the access to DocuSign. Okay. Um, that's easy. And then I think what you could do is do a Google Meets call with Christy. And uh, okay. like that, she can, um, yeah, we're going to take a picture of this. I'm going to send to your WhatsApp right now. Like that, she can um, guide you through doing an assignment. Okay. Here, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you guys in a let me put you in a channel right now. At Christy, please meet on Google Meets with Omar. Man, I have a Loom video of me doing it. I just can't find it now. Okay. I mean, if you find it, um, feel free to send it over. Yeah. Yeah, but kind of look at everything while I'm like on like free times or dead airs, you know. I'll look at the videos and take notes on it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? I know it's only been a few days, but what do you think about your first few days with us? Um, well, I think it's it, it's just like a, a week to adapt. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I can close a week pretty pretty strong. Um, tomorrow, you know, I think that yesterday, today, um, they were kind of more getting into the waters with the phone calls, um, talking to buyers. I had a pretty good call with, um, that flipper kind of explained and broke down why he thought the numbers were a little bit off. Um, I think that's possibly something that we could share with AQ to kind of see it on the flipper side mm -hmm. or on the flippers perspective, kind of what numbers they're working with or what numbers, um, they're looking at. Kind of, if they're following that type of strategy, um, you know, kind of to, to make it work for, for the flippers. But, um, but yeah, I think it was pretty good. It was pretty educational. Um, he kind of broke down, you know, kind of how it is in, in Cape Coral, um, the amounts that, that they're selling for, that they sell quick. So, I mean, I don't take, I don't take their word a hundred percent, but it does give you kind of like a benchmark, you know, to start off with. So. I think that was pretty good. It was a lot of info. Um, I'll pass the notes on right now to to Slack. Yeah. I just picked them up from Lofty, Lofty, but um, but yeah, it was pretty good. I think it's it was a it was a good week. You know, I did a lot of um, researching, kept looking at videos. I think the biggest takeaway was was um, the uh, like what you said this morning or yesterday morning. I think you know that we're always open to to kind of learning. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I definitely got back onto like YouTube and started looking to the like what the disposition, disposition tops are doing, like how they're displaying their deals, you know, uh, a lot of the phrases um, that, I, that I'm capturing for them or, or I'm getting for them to like kind of close and keep it moving forward because I know a lot of deals get kind of stuck. And um, so, yeah, I'm looking into that, continue the like continuous training at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I think it'll just get better. You know, it's a pretty good benchmark week, but um, yeah, it'll definitely get better. 
Awesome, man. Hell yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep doing these calls in the afternoon for the first like month or so, just so I can, um, you know, I really want yeah, just, to just, just to really, you know, make sure I answer your questions, get you the assignments, all the resources, mm-hmm. stuff you need as fast as possible. So you can, you know, make, make the most amount of money, bro. That's, that's, that's what it's about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, I can tell that's what the system is designed to do. You know, and I like that. Uh, I'm embracing it. I mean, I kind of see the, the whole, like the, the thought process around the meetings, the times, the days, you know, um, I think it's pretty good to do follow up constantly. Um, not let nothing really fall through the cracks. And that's really where you make the most money on follow up. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm totally for it. Sounds good, man. Well, um, let's keep going on. Um, I will, I sent you the username and password for DocuSign so you can log in, um, okay. set up a time with Christy directly to do the, the meet. So she yeah, can and that's it, man. We'll, you know, we'll keep it moving tomorrow. Um, we'll have our dispo meeting to set the plan for the day and, uh, for let's, sure. let's end the week strong and the weekend too, man. You know, in the weekend we can sell some deals and everything. So it's not over on Friday. Yeah, for sure. All right, brother. Well, yeah, keep keep me posted if any questions, okay? All right, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, likewise. Yeah, so there it is. Um, That's Omar. He's our needs dispositions agent. He just started Monday. It's Thursday. So um, it's pretty much getting a lot of it off my my plate. I was doing a lot of dispo. I do a lot of acquisitions. I do the sales management. I buy the leads. So... I mean, this is all happening because I started the business back up again and uh, I had all this outsource, right? I had uh, all that stuff, but this is what it takes. This is what it takes to to get the business very profitable off the ground and then you hire good people, right? Because the first thing I wanted to do is make sure the business is profitable. Last quarter, I was at above a 65% net profit margin. So um, I accomplished the profit margin, which is good, but now it's like, all right, how do I get some of my time back so that we can make more money? Because, you know, you know, 65% profit margin on less money. I'd rather make more money and less profit margin, you know, but I mean, not less. I, I'm happy to get to a 50, 50 to 55% profit margin, but we double our revenue. So that's where we're going. And these are the types of people I hire. These are the types of system and the phone calls I do. So that's the purpose I make these videos. And uh, hopefully you liked everything and comment. If you like anything, let me know. I'll see you on the next video.